so hello everyone welcome to the tutorial number eight so this is the github.com slash pro software development learn view here you can get all the files related to the previous tutorials and you can get the code of the files there and you can run them on your machine it's very easy you have to just click on the html file and all the code will run as it is so the title is adding add a task or a to do functionality in view to do app so we are creating a Vue.js to do app and we, now today we are going to add a functionality to add a task or a to do which is the like the backbone of our app so creating add a task, task functionality so this is going to be a method and also submitting the data for the same through form okay so let's refresh this page so okay unexpected token okay let me say okay, okay. So just for a second, you can, uh, I can I will remove this and I will refresh the page. So here you can see the script started. Now our, our first thing we need to do for we need to render the component view component. And for that, what we'll do first, we'll create the uh, we'll create the uh, view constructor. So constant app is equal to new view. So I told you the view, uh, uh, the view, uh, view, view component has three things. First is the like element. So this is the JSON object inside the constructor. And inside this, it will have the element uh, data. This is the data. And the next we are going to have is methods. So methods is this. Yeah, perfectly fine. So we need to define all the three things uh, uh, one by one. So this would help us to render the component. Okay, let's see how we render them. So this is the ID is equal to app and we need to define them and ID is signified using the hash symbol. So hash app, perfectly fine. So we'll put a comma, yeah. So data is an empty JSON object uh, for the time being, we'll remove, yeah. And methods is an empty JSON object for the time being and we'll remove, yeah. So let's refresh the page and we think, yeah, the script started and what we can do just for our uh, like so the uh, we can now we know the since the script has started and the trip uh, script is working perfectly fine so we can uh, for the time being we can keep this and when we are done so we can uh, remove this okay so first very simple thing what we are going to render is the heading heading is to do app using view js okay so this is the art uh, this is the like heading and i'll copy this now okay okay well, okay what do i'll do and now i'll render this so what we'll do uh i can remove this h1 okay now what i'll do i'll put h1 tag here and i'll i'll use the like the template uh, i'll use the well, how we render the value using this double curly braces heading now i'll put the double curly braces again now what i'm trying to say that this heading should be rendered here and we would get the value and plus we will get to know that our app has now binded successfully with the component okay then we can put the style let me define style is equal to text align is equal to center okay so now let's refresh this page. Yeah, perfectly fine. To do app using Vue.js and we have got the value. Okay, now we'll try to make this app uh, responsive. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So what we can do, so div id is equal to app and we can give this app as a class is equal to call md6 so that we get it here in the center and we are going to define as a style is equal to margin zero auto yeah so this would align themselves to the center okay now 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 you can see that it has a width of call md6 and everything is aligned to the center and we can do one thing we can add a padding here padding is equal to one rem yeah now i refresh this page i use the while view yeah now here you can see it's perfectly fine and now i have a 
like I have a padding so it's like perfectly fine so let me do one check on this yeah so yeah so so like this is perfectly fine okay now I'll do one thing okay yeah so this is fine so this is all we wanted so this one is perfectly fine and it looks good to get carried on with this okay now i'll close this yeah so you can uh, add this label add your to do here and you can this is perfectly fine okay now what you can do you can also put this inside a style tag style is equal to text align is equal to center so this would also align themselves to center as well okay it didn't align them to center okay label for text align is equal to the center and i'll put this as a margin zero auto so margin zero auto okay let me inspect this element yeah so what you can we can do is we can move the styling from here and if you want you can add a style is equal to text align is equal to center here so this would work perfectly fine yeah so now it's in the center we are good to go now we need to add a button so we need to add a button and for this we are going to simply copy this and we are going to paste it here okay i'll show how you you can type this so input type is equal to submit perfectly fine and class is equal to button button primary and i will close this let me refresh this page yeah so here i have a button and i can style this as a display block if you want or i can do i can do display block or i can do style is equal to margin zero auto so this would align the button to the center margin zero auto okay and the value is add a to do okay add my to do so this is perfectly fine and we can give instead of zero let's make it as one. Oh, sorry okay let's make this as one rem and this would give a margin top so perfectly fine we are good to go with the form as well so this is a very simple form and we are good carrying on good with this and now what we can do okay now we can do one thing so uh like like we need to store them inside an array so heading is perfectly fine so we need to initialize id is equal to one so because our first to do starts with the id one so this is like we are initializing the values and now we are doing title is equal to nothing let this remain this i you can empty string because we don't want something new any title to be given already and done is, is going to be false because when we add it to do so we make sure that it's already it is marked as done as false so we'll make it as true when we complete it and we store all this in an array named to do so we'll store all this inside a json object so basically what i meant to say that we're going to make a json object of id title and done so this is a json object and this json object is going to be stored in this to do's array so perfectly fine okay so so let me put a comma here so i hope everything is perfect and when i refresh this page Control shift i console is perfectly fine so this is how we initialize the value so and 
we can add to create a method add to do so we'll look how to do complete this function in the next tutorial okay so thank you so much uh, so only uh, like so this much content is very much for this video so we'll carry on with the next tutorial thank you so much